What is up everyone? This is Nova Vaughn and let me tell you what's going on. Well, day one of Star Wars Celebration was out today, and there were some announcements as to what some new shows that were going to be coming out uh, later on, so let's check this out. So we get some announcements here <coughs> of the projects that are coming up uh, later on in 2023, as well as 2024, and then some uh, films that are going to be coming out. Of course, the main one is going to be the Ahsoka and that's going to premiere in August. The Skeleton Crew is also going to be uh, on Disney Plus in 2023. And then we get an announcement that the Acolyte is going to be coming in sometime in 2024. And then we're getting Season 2 of Andor that's set to premiere sometime around August of 2024. And then we get uh, three movies that are been announced uh, by the evil Kathleen Kennedy who are going to be directed. So let's get into that. One of the movies is going to be directed by James Mangold and this uh, movie is supposed to be set in the time period that is approximately 25,000 years before the Phantom Menace and it's going to focus on supposedly going to focus on the birth of the Jedi and how that came about. The other movie is going to be directed by Dave Filoni and that movie is going to be set into the time period uh, that we see in the current Mandoverse right now. So we're likely going to be seeing all the characters um, in this all together in one movie. You got uh, Din and Bo and Grogu, Ahsoka, uh, Jude Law's character from the Skeleton Crew, maybe some of the um, younglings that are um, in that series as well. Uh, so basically, it's they're all going to uh, be together. And then the, the other movie is going to be directed by Charmaine Obey de Chinoy. And that movie is going to be set in the post-sequel trilogy. 15 years, uh, supposedly, set after The Rise of Skywalker. Whoopee. So this... And it's going to have uh, Daisy Ridley back as Rey. And uh, if the rumors are true, uh, we're also going to see uh, Grogu in there as well. Um, I think Chewbacca is rumored to be in it, as well as um, R2-D2. So we're going to uh, get that, which me personally, that's going to be the least expected so those are the three movies that are going to be, um, that have been announced at Star Wars Celebration. Uh, the movie that I'm most intrigued about is the one that's going to be directed by James Mangold. I just hope that they don't put any woke agenda in there. They probably will, but if it's going to be an interesting story about the start of the Jedi, um, who knows? Uh, Maybe it will be. Maybe it will surprise us. Um, I'm as far as the one that's directed by Dave Filoni that we know is set in the Mando first. Uh, so we're gonna get some familiar characters. We're gonna just see how they all come together um, and as to what the plot is gonna be. So I really don't have any. You know, nothing really excites me about that. Um, well, any of the movies that Disney is coming out with <laughs> don't excite me personally because of the garbage that they've put out in the past with the sequel trilogy. Rogue One is basically the only good movie that Disney has ever put out. And then the one that's directed by Charmin Obey Chinoy, that has zero interest in me. I might 
have to see what others think of it before I even decide to go to the movie to if I want to really really watch that movie because if it's taking place and having the character Ray in it that just does not interest me whatsoever then we got a teaser uh, with um, the Ahsoka show so let's get into that I'm gonna watch the teaser and give you my thoughts on this Something's coming. Something dark. I sense it. This is a new beginning. For some, war. For others, power. It's been a while. Things have changed. I started hearing whispers about Thrawn's return. heir to the Empire. We have to prepare for the worst. The Jedi fell a long time ago. There aren't many left. Okay, interesting. Interesting teaser. I enjoyed it. I really like seeing uh, some of these characters that uh, real fascinating. So let's I'm gonna look at some of the characters here. We definitely have Ahsoka. You know, we of course she's obviously the main character. I mean it's the show is named Ahsoka. Dave Filoni's love child, basically. His favorite character that he likes to create on and on. Of course, we have Sabine Wren here. And she's, you know, going to be the main um, person in this show, um, along with Ahsoka. We've got Harrison Dula and Chopper. And then we have this. Uh, person who's a force user and then we have another young uh, character uh, that also is a force user and we see Mon Mothma that is going to be part of the Ahsoka show as well then of course we have Thrawn now I'm not sure who is going to be playing there's been some rumors that Lars Mikkelsen is going to uh, come back but that remains to be seen. Heir to the Empire. Now, Ahsoka said in this clip, Heir to the Empire. And, of course, that is uh, part of the Thrawn trilogy that of the books that was uh, written by Timothy Zahn. That's going to be interesting. We see the Magistrate is back. The one who dueled with Ahsoka in The Mandalorian uh, Season 2. And then we see this character. Now it makes me wonder, is this Ezra Bridger? Could it be? Who knows? So those are the characters that um, uh, we get a glimpse of um, in this show. It's coming in August. It's going to be interesting to see what uh, that those two individuals uh, that have force abilities. Um, we know that they're... Uh, leaning toward the dark side. They're definitely not Sith uh, lords. And how much of this uh, conflict uh, is going to be between them and Ahsoka. 
Uh, it's nice to see the Ghost Crew uh, reunited. Harrison Dula, Sabine Wren, and Chopper. It. I really believe we're going to see Zeb and Ahsoka, as I mentioned in my review of uh, a previous Mandalorian episode when uh, Zeb made his appearance uh, with Captain Teva. And then we see a character that I thought, I really think that that possibly could be Ezra Bridger. So I really hope that this is good. This is going to be uh, created by Dave Filoni. We know how much uh, passion and work that he cares uh, for the Ahsoka character uh, with all the with Clone Wars, with Rebels, uh, with Tales of the Jedi. He really puts his heart into that. So let's just hope that this is good. Um, let's hope he gives. Let's hope he gives us a good scene with Luke and with Force Ghost Anakin. Come on, Dave. Let's get this. Let's make this happen. Do it. Many of us fans would love to see that happen, and I hope it does. Now, I don't know if we're going to, if they do, I'm not sure if Luke is going to be there to assist Ahsoka, or if she's going to do it on her own, or what, but let's get this scene, let's make this scene happen, that's what I am really, really hoping for, I would love to see that, so it's going to be an interesting, I'll definitely be watching it, I'll give you my thoughts on on each episode like I have been doing with season three of the Mandalorian so that's where those were some of the announcements like I said before um, some some of the announcements that I it's just I don't get excited for Disney um, projects anymore because of the ruination that they have made with the past movies with the past shows Disney Star Wars it sucks. They really have to step it up. I just, you know, as Star Wars fans, we're just, we don't, there's just the anticipation uh, for these shows and movies just don't spark our interest as they did in the past, you know, when, you know, the original trilogy came out, when the prequels came out. The massive hype for these, the hype for Disney uh, projects, TV, whether it's TV shows or movies, just does not garner any excitement for us anymore. And that is just so, so sad because they are ruining what George Lucas has created. They're taking his project and they are destroying it. It gets worse each time. Something has got to be done. So let me know what you guys thought of these announcements. Uh, what TV shows are you looking forward to? What uh, movies are you looking forward to? Are you excited? Are you or are you just like me? Like, okay, it, it's gonna happen. Let's see what happens and let's just wait until the um, shows come out please let me know in the comments thank you so much for watching this video please give this video a like and you can subscribe to my channel as well you can also follow me on instagram and join me on my discord server this is nova vaughn reminding you that it is never too late for a new beginning in your life so be positive be cool and you will be all right.